A1 Graphic Poi. I've wanted to test them out for years, and now I finally have the chance. Drex here from DrexFactor.com coming at you with a review for Graphic Poi Razors, the 160 pixel version from A1 Technologies. Before we dive in, I just want to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Cool, so we're going to drill down features, ease of use, battery life, durability, and of course price. And then at the end I'm going to give you three things that I like about these and three places where I think that they could improve. So let's start off by talking about features and I'm going to split this up and talk both about the features of the POI themselves as well as the software that they come with. So the version of these that I have are 160 pixels long, uh, basically crammed into an area that is either 30 centimeters or 11.8 inches if you happen to live on my side of the pond. Um, that means that the total resolution of these is either 13.5 pixels per inch or 5.3 pixels per centimeter, depending on how you look at it. They have a two button interface for accessing the POI and of course there are eight different slots on board that you can program. They also have an interface where you can change the brightness directly on board with the POI by holding down the green arrow button and choosing from one of five different brightness levels, which is pretty nice. To set it, you just hit the red button again and it'll bring you back to the interface where you can uh, choose which program you want to go through. So another interesting setting that they have in this generation of their POI is a grouping function. So if I go straight past the point where I set brightness and everything, what I can do is I can set up this feature. Uh, basically, you set up one POI to be your master and then however many other devices you want talking to it to be slaves. So this one right now is set to be the slave and this one right now is set to be the master. And when I take these back to you know, my, uh, uh, the place where I can go through and find my different programming slots and everything. Um, what I do then is I have the one that is waiting on word from the other and thus I can set them both off at the same time. Uh, this is also great because there is a signal that gets sent back and forth between the two in terms of where they are in the program. So if this one for any reason gets activated late, it'll catch up with the other and they'll remain in sync which is a nice feature. I'll also say that the housing for these is really, really elegant. Um, you can definitely tell that these are meant to be a professional product. Um, they have really lovely graphics on them and everything, and they feel very, very solid. And they also come in this very lovely carrying case, which I think is pretty awesome. Inside that case, you get a variety of different things, including a little jump drive that has the software on it to be able to program these, as well as a bunch of uh, images, stock photos and stuff that you can throw into the programs. Now, our one caveat here with the software is that it is only PC compatible. There is not a Mac version of this, unfortunately. Finally, they have uh, what looks like flow cord, although I don't think it actually is as tethers, and these little uh, double loop handles that have the uh, logo and web address for, uh, for A1 Technologies on them. And of course, they're joined together by these uh, uh, swivels right here. So in theory, I think you're meant to be able to uh, perform orbitals with them, although I don't know if I would do it with such a poi this big. So now let's talk just a little bit about the software. So the software is a really interesting mix of adding blocks of things as well as having a timeline for them. So the way you add anything to a program is you basically click on the little button that says add new scene and you add an image from your repertoire of images to that. It'll then show up on the timeline down below and you can set how long you want it to last and everything based upon the editing window over on the right. You've got the ability to be able to view a preview of what the program looks like in a variety of different ways, as well as to be able to play the whole program so you can see what you're working with. Uh, finally, you also have the ability to switch back and forth in terms of whether the images are displayed as a clockwise spinner or a counterclockwise spinner. You choose the programming slot that you want to upload these to, you hit upload, and you should be ready to go. All right, cool. So now let's talk ease of use. So as many of you know, I have a test, and that is that I try to see if I can get something usable out of a brand new set of LED POI as soon as I get them without reading the manual. Um, I did that with this set of POI as well, and 
I will say that the two button interface wasn't as intuitive as I'd hoped it would be. Um, I definitely had a couple problems. Number one, figuring out where I was in terms of like, am I adjusting the different programming slots? Am I adjusting brightness? Um, and to be perfectly frank, the whole grouping feature and everything uh, totally mystified me at first. So eventually I was able to get them to go directly into one of those first four programming slots that they come with by default. Fault. Um, it took me probably about 10 to 15 minutes to figure out how to do that though. Um, so I'm gonna say that yeah, you can figure it out on your own, but the learning curve is a little bit steeper than I was really expecting. Um, and to be perfectly frank with you, the grouping feature and everything, you will never figure it out if you don't have the materials to learn from on that. The program makes sense. Um, the thing about adding new scenes is a little counterintuitive. I wish you could just like drag the images down to the timeline and everything. Um, but, you know, it, it works. It doesn't take you that long to work your way through it. So um, I'm going to say that overall, ease of use isn't terrible here, although there, there's a couple places where it could be streamlined a wee bit. So now let's talk about battery life. So as many of you all know, I have a test whenever I get any set of LED POI. And that test is essentially to turn the POI on to their brightest mode, full white, and just wait for them to kill the battery like this. It's the most punishing test you can possibly give to the battery. Um, I was expecting the performance on these because they're so big to be pretty not good. Um, and I was surprised to find that it's actually comparable to many other sets of programmable LED POI that I've worked with. Um, you get somewhere between 25 and 30 minutes uh, going full bright with the entire thing. Now do bear in mind that using a test this punishing does not necessarily mean that you're only going to get 25 minutes of battery life out of these. Um, if you're smart about how you program them, if you try and make sure that any images or anything that you program into them is not fully white, that you have some spots in it that are either black or dark or what have you that will not turn the pixels on at all, then you're gonna get much better battery life out of these. But that is just a tip to use in general when talking about programmable POI. In terms of durability, I will confess that I've only had these for a few weeks and I have only used them in limited doses. Um, what I can tell you is that they feel very solid. Um, you know, it's it's one. It, it's definitely like thin polycarbonate that they have here and everything. And we all know that the Achilles heel of many of these sets of programmable poi is that over time, as they take shocks, you wind up having like dead pixels on the board and everything. Um, I haven't had that happen yet. So for the time being, I'm going to say that these are probably comparable to most sets of programmable LED poi in terms of their durability, which is to say. Be careful with them, um, and hopefully you'll get a good long lifespan out of them. So the A1 Graphic Poi Razor 160s, that is a mouthful. Uh, they are available at apixeltoys.com. Uh, they are uh, 1149 euro, which as of the time of my recording this, winds up being about $1,262 US. Um, bear in mind that there will also be a shipping cost on top of that. Um, but yeah, that's what you're looking at to get yourself a pair of these. So now let me talk three things that I like and three things that I think that these could work on. So the good stuff. The packaging on these is fantastic, and I know that's kind of a shallow thing to talk about, but it's true. Like, these just feel like a very professional product, and the carrying case is awesome. Like, walking into a professional gig carrying one of these, I would totally feel like a badass. Number two, the grouping feature. Uh, especially for those of us who do corporate events and everything, having your program synced up and everything is absolutely essential. Finally, and this is going to be another uh, kind of uh, shallow thing, but the tethers. Um, it is one of my big pet peeves when I run across sets of poi that cost a thousand dollars that have those teeny little nylon cords for their tethers. And I'm very happy to see that uh, A1 Technologies is using, again, I don't think it's actually flow cord, but um, it looks like it and it behaves like it and it's a much better tether material. And here's the most important thing. It's not going to shred all the flesh off of your fingers if you happen to wrap them around your fingers. Okay, so now let's talk three areas for improvement. Um, number Number one, and this is the biggest one, in this day and age, you got to have your software compatible with both PC and Mac, especially if you're selling to people in the States. Number two, 
the interface both for uh, kind of navigating the POI themselves as well as the program uh, on PC to program them. I think both of them could use just a little bit of work in terms of streamlining the interface and making it more intuitive. It's helpful to have your product be kind of idiot proof. And these are not quite there yet. Everything that you can access with it is great. It's just kind of, you know, a, a little bit too far a leap on a couple of the features, especially the grouping function. And finally, um, I would really appreciate if they had an option for a ball handle instead of uh, these finger loops. Um, I don't know whether finger loops are still in vogue in Europe, but I cannot remember the last time I saw any poi spinner whatsoever in the United States using poi that had finger loops on them. Um, and you know, it's one of those things you can still offer the finger loops, but have an option for ball handles too. That'd be really nice. Cool, so that was my review of the graphic razor poi from A1 Technologies, or I guess uh, they also go by Aerotron Technologies. Uh, do you own a set of these? What do you think of them? Please leave me a comment and let me know. And uh, do you have a favorite brand of programmable poi? What would they be? I want to know. Also, before you take off, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload a new video. Uh, YouTube's algorithm is constantly changing, and the only way to guarantee that you're going to see every one of my videos when they get uploaded is to hit that notification bell. So go and do it. Go and do it right now. And of course, a huge thank you to all of my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They are the reason that this video and all the videos on this channel exist. If you would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Not only do you get to support wonderful videos like this one, but you also get access to some great exclusive content and a say in what topics I cover in my videos. So uh, go check that out and thank you in advance.